MLM Nation, episode 40. Building a network mar- marketing business is like building your own business. You are a, a small to large business owner. It's, it's up to us. I mean, this is here for the asking. It's here for the taking. The rest is up to you. If you want to be successful, you just have to copy what MLM leaders do. Welcome to MLM Nation, presented by your host, Simon Chan. Where you'll learn strategies, secrets, and inspiring stories from today's top MLM income earners. MLM Nation, this is Simon Chan, and I'm really excited to bring our special guest today, Kathleen Degelman. Kathleen, are you ready to make it happen? I am, absolutely. Thank you so much for inviting me, Simon. Kathleen Degelman worked in corporate America for 25 years. After she realized she didn't want to spend another 25 years working for someone else, Kathleen started reading entrepreneurial books and joined a few wealth-building masterminds. Through her journey of self-development, Kathleen discovered network marketing nine years ago and since then has been a seven-figure income earner for two different companies. Kathleen has a great online presence, and thanks to the internet and social media, she has built a global business that expands to over 55 countries. Kathleen loves the network marketing profession and sees herself as a global ambassador and offers training for an entire MLM community. So Kathleen, I give an MLM nation just a brief intro, but please share more about your background and how you came across network marketing. Sure, I'd be happy to. Well, I, like most of us, did not grow up thinking that someday I wanted to become a professional networker. I I don't think I've met anybody yet who can say that. Um, I, Like most of us, it was a a random chance phone call. Um, Usually starts with a friend and a phone call. Um, And I'm so grateful that I got that phone call in May of 2006. Prior to that, I worked for some great companies. Um, I had a great experience as an employee at companies like IBM and Levi Strauss. But in my early 40s, I realized that I just didn't want to be an employee anymore. Um, I realized that I wanted to create wealth. I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And I started reading some some great books uh, that really shifted my mindset about money and wealth building. And I became a real estate agent in San Francisco. And I did that for a number of years. And I was doing well. And I could see that I could do very well. Um, but I, one day at a Tuesday managers meeting, I looked around the room and I just, my heart just sank because I just realized that while it was a great way to make a living, it, it wasn't quite right for me. It still wasn't satisfying one of the main things that I was looking for, which was time freedom. As an employee, a small business owner, a real estate agent, you're still at the beck and call of your clients. And I I didn't know about network marketing at that time. Um, So I I actually started to become a very active uh, real estate investor. And I thought that that was how I was going to create my fortune. And fast forward a few years, and I had gotten very good at purchasing residential properties all over the country that were not cash flowing, which was a problem. And so in January of 2006, I was waking up in the middle of the night getting very concerned about what was um, being predicted to happen in the the economy in North America, specifically the real estate market, because my whole livelihood was based on real estate. So I was pretty nervous and I felt like I had a 911 to my finances. And I spent the next few months you know, frantically looking for something else that I could do. And I was about to pull the trigger on investing, you know, fifty to $100,000 in a franchise or starting my own business. And I'm so glad that I didn't do either one of those things because I got that phone call in May of 2006 from a good friend. And uh, she didn't know anything about network marketing. I didn't know anything about it. But it sounded completely intriguing. And I just, I remember thinking, if this is half as good as she says it is, this could be exactly what I was looking for. So I was one of those people. I mean, we all get plenty of no's in this profession. But I was one of those people that just said yes right away, sign me up, and we'll do our due diligence and figure it out afterwards. So that's actually a very inspiring story. So you were in. You worked in corporate America for uh, 20s, you know, for a long, long time in the real estate, and you never heard of network marketing before. You know, I'd heard of it, and I'd had a couple of people approach me, but I was never drawn to the, the products. Um, right. I wasn't, you know, there were just certain things that I just wasn't that intrigued by, but health and wellness was definitely something that I could get excited about. It was really like the right time, uh, the right time for you, right? Exactly. Yeah. I was definitely ready. I was that... 
a professional person that had never done network marketing before, had, had built a, a lot of uh, contacts in a, a large network, and I was look, I was definitely open and I was looking. Yeah, and I, you know, this is one of the things I teach distributors. Like, when they're looking for people who are going to explode your network and grow really fast, lit, you know, ML Nation, you're looking for the Kathleen Degelman, who is successful, had a successful career, was, was entrepreneurial, has a real estate you know, investor mindset. And I'm sure once you got going, and, and you, you may have been closed minded, but once the timing was right, you came in, it, it took off for you, right? Exactly. Yeah, now, I mean, it was, it was an incredible ride. I got to help and create. Uh, an amazing uh, momentum with that first company. I reached the the seven figure level in just under two years. So. Wow! Well, you know that, that I always talk about three type of prospects: the, the S, O, and Ws. The S are the ones who are smarter, more successful. O are like your peers, which often like the hardest people to sign up because they know you too well, right? The negative family, friends, <laughs> close friends, or the Ws who are worse than you. But I always tell people the S is who you want to go after. And Kathleen, you're the typical S. You know, you've accomplished so much, but you just never knew about network marketing. And once you plugged in, you took off. So that, you're a perfect example for that. Now, let me ask you something. You had a lot of success really quickly. I mean, two years, you hit a million dollars. It's really impressive. But was there any time during that journey where – or maybe even after that, where it was really, it got frustrating because uh, I'm sure the journey wasn't always easy. And maybe even a point where you wanted to quit or you regret doing this, but somehow you stayed in there and kept going. Sure, there's, there's definitely. You're, we're always going to have ups and downs. I mean, those first couple years in that first company, um, really the first several were were just amazing, and it was a lot of fun, and everything was working. And then it got hard, and the economy shifted, and you know, it, it kind of fell apart, and. Uh, about two and a half years ago, I, I was realizing that I needed to do something else. And I didn't know that I was looking for a second network marketing company. Um, you know, I'd had great success and was with my first company for almost seven years. And it's kind of like your first love. It's really hard to leave. Um, but I was approached uh, to take a, a look at the, the company that I'm with currently. And I was intrigued by the products. And I just started to look at the the global platform that they offer, and I, I thought, you know what, if I'm going to do this again, this will be a great partner. But I have to say that I've been with this company almost three years. The first two years were very tough. I mean, it really felt like pushing a boulder up the hill. And keeping that vision and just keeping your eye on, on what's ahead and staying focused on the activities, not the results, is what, what kept me in the game, plus you know, some really, really great people that I was working with. So it's really about the vision, and I think you, you said something really important. It's not the results, the activity, right? Because you knew that as long as you kept on doing what you're supposed to do, the activity, sooner or later you'll get the results. Exactly. It is true. I mean, if you keep you know, developing your skills, and these are all skills that, that people can learn, that's the good news. I mean, the bad news is there's very few natural-born leaders. The good news is there are skills that we can develop. And when somebody goes fast in our profession, it's typically because they – bring a lot of skills that transfer to this profession. Um, when somebody doesn't go fast or, or you know, it just takes them you know, longer to get there, I always tell people don't compare yourself to other people um, because it's true that anybody can do this. It's just that it is the hardest thing is to stay consistent with the activities. That yeah. is, it's true with anything, whether it's losing weight or having a great relationship, creating wealth, building a network marketing business. Staying consistent is the hardest thing for us. Absolutely. I think that's the thing that sabotages most distributors. Because we're, like, especially in the U.S., we're such a results-oriented society, a culture, that we're looking for results, right? And in network marketing, a lot of times you don't get the results. But if you focus, shift your focus on the activity, and like you said, Kathleen, sooner or later it's going to happen. You Sooner right. or later your skills will get better. Right. It is a numbers game. In fact, I actually um, figured out recently that uh, I have probably gotten about 300 no's in the nine years that I've started. You know, 300 like face-to-face -face no's or voice-to-voice -voice no's. And I figured out recently that each one of those no's paid me about $20,000. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so was it worth it? Uh, yes. <laughs> so that's a good target, MM Nation. Like, get your 300 no's. Yeah. You know, it took yeah. Kathleen. It doesn't mean that you definitely get, make a million, but it's, for her, 300 no's led to a million dollars. And oh. every no is closer to a yes. And I think, so you actually tr kept track of your no's, you say. You kept track of who signed up or who didn't sign up. I did. I did because uh, somebody taught me a long time ago that a no just means not right now. Yes. And things shift for people. And so if you've got a, a list, you know, and you've got a system and you check back in with them, circle back with it 
in with them. I mean, I've had people who clearly said no, change their mind down the road. Yeah, I love it. You know, I don't see a lot of people do this, but I'm a big, you know, fanatic proponent of tracking numbers, tracking, tracking, because sooner or later, especially if you know, like, you talk to every 20 people, or for me, it was like 42 people to get my first sign up, right? As Every no gets you, gets you closer to the yes. So when you ask distributors, like, how many people you talk to, they, you know, a lot of times they say, oh, I talked to 20 or 40. I was like, there's a big difference between 20 and 40, right? 20, right. you may be really far from getting your first sign up, or 40, you could be the next person. Right. So yeah. I love the fact you actually tra- kept track of your numbers. So 300, and every no is 20,000. It's awesome stuff. Now, I want to ask you one thing that, because you were very successful, you do real estate investing, and then, but network marketing is a very different animal. Was there any specific mindset shifts or changes you had to do? Because even though, I mean, I'm sure your network had helped you, but was there anything you had to tinker or change a little bit in order to be successful in this? Uh, time management becomes even more important in our business. I mean, you definitely have to be very uh, effective and very protective of your time because I think what happens a lot in our profession is we end up spending time with the people that we think need it as opposed to the people that deserve it. So I think that's something that we definitely have to be aware of. Uh, A lot of the skill, I was in sales and marketing for over 20 years and then real estate. So with real estate, I definitely got to develop the more the the business owner mentality, the entrepreneurial mentality. Um, Building a network marketing business is like building your own business. You are a, a small to large business owner. Being an employee is a different mindset. You're, you're kind of waiting for somebody else to tell you what to do. So it's, a, it's important to make that shift. It, it, it's up to us. I mean, you know, I gave a presentation recently at our international convention. And at the end of it, I just said, you know what? This is here for the asking. It's here for the taking. The rest is up to you. Hmm, I love that. This is here for the asking. And for the taking, and the rest is up to you. ML Nation, I would write that down. This is for the asking, and the taking, and the rest is up to you. I love that. Now, why don't uh, you take us back to a moment? Um, and I, I want to actually, before I do that, I just want to repeat the awesome time management tip you just uh, shared. It's like work with people that deserve your time, not need your time, right? And I think that applies to not just the downlines, but also prospects. Right. And, uh, because your time is, you know, that's the only thing that's limited. Everything else, your hunger, desire, the opportunities, there's no limit to how much money you can make, how much success. But you have to be really picky in who you spend time with. So that's an awesome nugget for sharing that. Thank you, Kathleen. Sure. Now, take us back to another uh, part of your journey where you had a major aha moment. Like, it was like a light bulb that went off and you said, ha, I got it. And then, boom, the business took off. Well, I've been fortunate over the years to be mentored by some great people, uh, Laura Langmeyer, Ray and Jessica Higdon, some some great leaders, uh, very, very successful leaders in the industry. But years ago when I read Thinking for a Rich and Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it really turned on that entrepreneurial spirit within me. And I uh, that, that was a huge aha moment for me as I was entering the network marketing profession because I was able to look at money differently and to, to see – to redefine what time freedom meant. And the time freedom is what really became the most important thing to me. And in our profession, one of the things that I love the most is just being able to help others to achieve their goals. That's really the icing on the cake. You know, it's one thing to create your own financial and time freedom, but it's another to help other people. And I love what the the saying that Zig Ziglar made famous, you know, if we help others get what they want, you'll get what you want. And once I really started to understand this business model, I mean, lots of light bulbs went on and I just thought, wow, I mean, I I, I wish I had been introduced to it much, much younger. And, you know, I I appreciate what Keep Robert Kiyosaki says about this being the perfect business model for this century because it is... It, 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 it truly is a better way. And once people start to understand how this works, it's kind of like a, a hit your forehead moment. Um, you really can create wealth and you really can work where you want, with whom you want, and when you want. Mm, definitely. Now, you, you had mentioned helping people with the satisfaction. What would, be, what would you consider to be your proudest moment in network marketing? Um, well, there's been quite a few over over the nine years and you know, quite a few million dollars later. I mean, it's been fun and amazing to create my own financial freedom. But the real the real joy comes in seeing, you know, your teammates and, and people who become friends and family succeed. And uh, just a couple of months ago, two leaders in my business, two good 
good friends, um, Kathleen and Becky, reach the diamond level, which is the, the seven-figure year income level. And watching them being presented as diamonds on stage was just an awesome moment in our lives. And, you know, they both have been in the industry for over 20 years, so no overnight successes. I mean, it does take work. There's, I think there's very few overnight successes in this business, but it was just – it was – Definitely one of my proudest moments to see them achieve this and, and know that it's truly life-changing. It, it really is all about the team. When you take your eyes off of you and put it onto your team, amazing things can happen. We probably have over 50 people making 50000 a year and probably 10 wow. making six figures and now two seven-figure income earners. So, you know, the first couple of years, like I said, they were really challenging with the second company and there, you know, there were times – when if I hadn't had that vision, I don't know if if I would have hung in there. But you know, people often people say to me because I was successful in the the first company that it must have been a cakewalk in the second company, and that is definitely not true. You know, we we stayed the course. I I kept the vision. I created a system for my team, and it's a good thing that we did because when the um, the business really took off when we got that boulder up the hill. I mean, amazing things can happen. In the last six months, we've added 20,000 people to our team and we're in 55 countries. So it feels really good to be, you know, at the, at the top of that hill again. But I just want to encourage everybody. It is, it can be very hard. It can be very challenging. And there are going to be days that you want to quit. But if you keep that vision, if you keep doing the, the activities, it is incredibly rewarding when you start to see how network marketing can change people's lives. Uh, we just got back from visiting our team in the UK and actually getting to meet people face to face because so much of what we do now is, is online and our little Facebook icons just don't do everybody justice. But to get to meet people and to see how this is true, to hear their story and to see how it's truly changing lives, you know, that is the best part. And, you know, one of the things I love about this industry is if you decide to to go big and to really build a big network marketing business, you're going to step into bigger shoes. I mean, it just it's just going to happen. And the, the person they get to become along the way um, is the best part. It's, it's definitely nerve-wracking sometimes, but it definitely challenges you to, to step, step up. Mm. It's, it's incredibly worth it. What's, uh, with, you know, you have the experience, your business in 55 different countries. What's the one thing that excites you most about the profession right now, Kathleen? Well, thankfully, the, the internet and social media has really helped a lot more people to see the, the value and potential in network marketing. That was actually another uh, light bulb moment for me when I understood what uh, attraction marketing was. And I think what I'm most excited about is I have fully embrace the, the technology that's available today, all, all the internet tools that we have like Skype and Instant Presenter and ScreenFlow, ScreenFlow and YouTube. And I've spent a lot of time and effort building an online presence on social media. And with my first company, you know, seven, eight years ago, I remember the, the CEO at that time actually stood on the convention stage and told us not to talk about the company on Facebook. You know, that's how new this is. And you know, with my first company, we, we barely had these tools available. We barely used them. It was all about the home parties and three-way calls and coffee shop appointments. And those are all great. And I highly recommend that people do those. But there's so many more ways to build this business now. You know, you can do home parties, um, but you don't have to. I, I have lots of people on my time on my team building all online. And social media, especially Facebook, has completely changed what's possible. And if your company has a global platform, then the ordinary person truly can build an international business. And I don't think there's ever been a better time in history than, than to do that. So I'm really excited about that. I think I'm most excited just about that, that change, how social media has changed this and made it so much easier and doable for people. Never again can we say that we've run out of people. <laughs> uh, definitely. And uh, MLM Nation, Kathleen definitely has a great online presence. She, uh, we'll put her link to her Facebook page and to her website and the show notes so you'll check it out. And Kathleen, I mean, I'm really impressed with your online presence. Could you give, and you talk about uh, attraction marketing, could you share one tip? If someone's like new, they're getting started with Facebook, I mean, what's one tip you'll give them so they can get, you know, start attracting people to them? Um, attraction marketing is all about creating an online presence where people 
find you, they come to you. And how you do that is if you provide value and content on a regular basis, you know, to your to your community, to your audience, then they're just gonna naturally want to be around you. What happens a lot in our profession is uh, people go online and they just start posting, you know, pictures of their products or their services, and it actually starts to look like spam. It looks like, look at me, look at me, look at me. Instead of doing that, if you could start to, to teach, if you could start to provide value, and a great way to do that is through um, social media posts on Facebook. You know, if you enjoy blogging, that's a great way to share what you've learned. But the easiest, simplest way to do it is short little videos. People love videos and video marketing really works. Um, I probably have sponsored 150 people in this company and probably half of them have found me through Facebook and uh, my YouTube channel, KathleenTV.com. Awesome. Uh, as we go towards the end of the show, some quick questions to pick your brain. Okay, Kathleen? What's one of your favorite success quotes that has motivated you in the past? Uh, you know, I people have often heard me say consistent action over time creates extraordinary results. I love that one because if you break down each word, it's very, very meaningful. I mean, the actions have to be consistent. You have to give it time. And if you do that, you will get the results. And over time, the results are incredibly extraordinary. I mean... What our business model offers to the ordinary people, it's a chance for people to become leaders. It's a chance for people to have their own business. It's a chance for people to create financial freedom. It's a chance for people um, to get to, to shift you know, the hours that they spend away from their family. So, so I love that one. And the, and the results are truly extraordinary. I mean, I feel incredibly blessed to have achieved what I've, I've achieved in the two companies that I've been in, in the nine years in the profession. I mean, I, I look back and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at what, you know, we've been able to do. I have an incredible team to work with. Uh, another favorite quote is meet people where they are. Um, you know, sometimes people will call me and they're so frustrated because so-and-so on their team isn't, quote, doing this right. Well, that's that person's skill level. And so we have to accept that everybody comes into this with their, their personalities, with their skill set. Some are ready to go. Some get it faster. It doesn't mean that the other people can't. It's just that, you know, we can't change people. We have to accept people for, for how they are. And the more we celebrate people's strengths, and forget the rest, the happier everybody's going to be and the faster the business is going to grow. Definitely. What is one of your habits that's helped you become successful, Kathleen? Uh, well, it gets back to that consistency. Uh, I mean, if somebody says, what's, what's been your secret to your success? The first thing I say is I'm really good at being consistent. You know, you have to show up on a regular basis. And I think the biggest mistake that people make is not giving this enough time long term and and just what you do every week if, if I honestly think if people had to pay more for, to enter our profession I think they might respect their own contribution more I mean I'm glad the cost of entry is low but you know again being focused on the activities not the results if, if people you know as people really start to embrace what this is all about it, it becomes easier for people to treat it like a million dollar opportunity and I saw that from the get-go like I said I was somebody that said yes right away and I saw the potential uh, right away and probably one of my big aha moments when I first got started was in this business model the company the company you partner with does all the hard stuff you know, they, they invest all the money, they create the products, they run the warehouse, they handle the invoicing, they've got the employees. I think we get to do the fun part. We get, we get to share, um, you know, typically great products and services and uh, a business opportunity. We get to share hope with people. I think we get to do the, the fun part. So, you know, just, just creating that, that team culture around being consistent and, you know, really teaching people how to do this. I, I think I have been very good at that. And I think the other thing, and, and people often tell me this, is um, humility and keeping your ego in check. You know, as a leader in this profession, I think it's really important. There's, there's um, lots of people that have been very successful, um, but just remembering that this really isn't about us and we're not all that. It, it's, it's about our team. You know, this is a team sport. That's one of the things I love about it. What's the best piece of advice you ever got, Kathleen? The best piece of advice I ever got uh, would have to come from, 
years ago I had the opportunity to, to sit with a, a very accomplished leader in the industry and I had the opportunity to sit uh, with him under uh, the umbrellas you know, in Maui on one of the diamond trips and I asked him the question, how will I know who the builders are? And he just looked at me very slowly, very calmly and he just said, you'll know who the builders are by the questions they ask. And I've never forgotten that. Mm, that's because, that's so yeah. good. I mean, it it takes away that pressure. You know, you're not we're not trying to convince people to do something. I mean, sometimes I'll get a phone call from somebody and they'll say, "Can you help me motivate this person?" And I'm like, "No, I can't." Yeah. Motivation comes from within. I can inspire them, and I can help show you how to inspire them by setting the example. You know, but we don't need to chase people or hunt them down to do this. It's just our job to share the business, create lots of customers, and along the way, look for those people that are asking those builder type questions. Look for the people that are open, and then you know, you you go to work with them, you partner with them, you roll up your sleeves, and, and go build a great team with them. Mm, I love that. I love that because then asking questions, how do I stay motivated? How do I change my ownership? You know, what's the, um, if someone, if a prospect was uh, interested, uh, what's your favorite prospecting tool that you use, Kathleen? Do you use like a newsletter, a webinar, online videos, flip charts? What do you like to use? Uh, my favorite prospecting tool is I've created um, like a first look link. I mean, it, it's really not about what my favorite prospecting tool is. It's what, it's what, that my favorite prospecting tool is for the team. And so I mm. created something that's like a first look. And it's just a link, and it's got several options on it. It's got our sizzle call. It's got a recorded opportunity webinar. It's got some before and after pictures. And so it's one-stop shopping. And so the brand-new person doesn't have to hunt and peck you know, to pull some things together. All they have to do is send that lo- that link. Um, so that's probably my favorite tool. I, I love that, you know, in today's world we can – uh, do a live training and record it and throw it up on Facebook or put it on our YouTube channels and it becomes an archived tool. It becomes something that people can go, you know, refer back to over and over and over again. I don't have to keep saying the same thing over and over again. I can, I have become a professional pointer, uh, which is what I teach my team. You know, the more we point to uh, the tools, the, the faster it grows because the easier it is for everybody to duplicate what we're doing. Kathleen, what's one of your favorite apps or online resources? Do you use like a Dropbox or Evernote uh, that you could recommend to our listeners? Um, I definitely do use Dropbox. That's that's uh, where we keep a lot of the, the file documents, but I don't know if you'd consider this an app, but my, my favorite tool is YouTube. I mean, the more videos you get up on YouTube, you know, I created a, a, a channel for my team. Um, that is a huge part of where people find me, you know, that attraction marketing working for me. And also it's a great resource for my team because like I said, I can, you know, I can create a training, I put it up on YouTube and it gets used thousands of times. Yes, and we can uh, find that link channel, can we? Is it public? We go to if, if our is, listeners go to YouTube. Is, yeah, it is public. It's um, I have a lot of generic trainings that support the the greater network marketing community. Um, it's just Kathleen TV, like Kathleen Television, KathleenTV.com. Awesome. What's one book you could recommend to ML Nation? Uh, well, I love GoPro by Eric Worre. I think that's a great person for both the new person and the seasoned person. And I mentioned Think and Grow Rich earlier. I've actually read Think and Grow Rich every January for probably the last 12 years. I love that book. It's yes. very, very thought-provoking. I'm sure you've read it. Um, but what's interesting about rereading it is every time I reread it, I swear there's a chapter or couple pages in there that I've never seen before <laughs> yeah. but it's not that the book has changed it's that I've changed so yeah I love that I love, the, I love the fact you're reading it every year because it's really not about sometimes reading more books but mastering and the classics and right. like you yeah. going every year reading it every year um, yeah I totally understand when I do that you know like I, I, how come I never I, I swore I've never seen this page before so right. it's good stuff and ML Nation I know you love audio because you listen to this podcast and so you can get an amazing free audiobook like Think and Grow Rich for free at mlmnationbook.com. That is mlmnationbook.com. And Kathleen, here's the last question, the million-dollar question. Are you ready? Before we go to the million-dollar question, ML Nation, I know you want to grow your business. 
and I know you want to earn more income. So that's why I want to share with you something that will instantly help your business and increase your income. You already know the importance of sponsoring. And if you can't sponsor, the fact is you simply won't earn any real income in network marketing. Sponsoring is so important. And that's why I'm inviting you to a free training that will change your business forever. I want you to check out my free sponsoring workshop webinar where you're going to learn how to invite more prospects, overcome the objections, and sponsor more distributors. You can register for this free training at www.sponsoringworkshop.com. Again, that's sponsoringworkshop.com. If you like these podcasts, these podcasts for ML Nation and these trainings, you'll find this free webinar even more helpful. This is the training that helped me earn over a million dollars in MLM and give me the residual income so I can be a stay-at-home dad with my kids and also have the time to give back and produce these MLM Nation podcast episodes for you. This is the training, the skills that help me become successful in network marketing, and you're going to learn this at this free sponsoring workshop webinar. So some, here's some of the things you will learn and get. You're going to get the first step you must take before you even talk to your contact list. You're going to discover the three type of prospects and how you must talk to them differently. Because not all prospects are the same. They're different. You also get my proven code market scripts that will help you convert strangers into prospects. These are the things that help me. I mean, I didn't sponsor 200 people in a year, but I sponsored over 80-something people in one year. How would your business grow if you sponsored 80 people in a year? You also learn how to get prospects to overcome the objections. So listen to your presentations. You know, an MLM objection, how to, you know, I don't have any money. So you're going to discover, you're going to learn all those things. And also, the best part is you get my famous six-figure close. So you can sign up prospects. And this is the same script, why it's a six-figure close. Because I used it to sign up one of my party friends. This guy was a party animal. And I used that six-figure close. And he joined, and now he's a diamond director and earns me a six-figure passive income just from one person. And so you'll get the same six-figure close on this free webinar. So anyway, enough of what you learned. What you really need to do now is register right now or write this website down. It's at www.sponsoringworkshop.com. Okay, sponsoringworkshop.com. This free webinar is offered three different days. That's the cool part. This is three different days at four different times. So they can, so that anyone around the world, because I know ML Nation, you guys are global, you can listen to it. And even better, if you don't have the patience, you want it immediately, there's an option. If you go to sponsoringworkshop.com, there's an option to watch it now immediately. So you can watch it right now and learn. So start learning the skills that help me build a million dollar ML business and go to sponsoringworkshop.com. So look forward to seeing the training. So now you know about something that's going to help you. I have to share that with you. Let's go back to the show and to the million dollar question. Here's the million dollar question. Imagine you had to start all over again and you knew no one. Okay, so your contact list was zero. You had no friends and family, none of your previous contacts. You zero. But you had all your current knowledge, skills, and wisdom. What would be the first thing you would do to find prospects and build an ML business from scratch? Hmm. Well, when I moved to this the second company almost three years ago, I mean, I really I did start over. I mean, I, I certainly had a few few contacts at that point, but I think your question is is that I had none. The first thing I would do is I would create a list of the motivated self starter type ambitious people that I know because we're looking for people that want more. We're not looking, you know, if somebody sits on the couch every night and watches TV they're probably not going to have enough motivation to do this. So you definitely have to, to pick and choose that, you know, your prospects are, are top quality people. I would go talk to business owners. Um, I would join uh, some networking events. I would join some mastermind groups. You know, I would want to be around people who were motivated, ambitious, and, and looking for more. Um, I would also uh, just work on my online presence. Like I said, become a person that provides value and content. You know, I've mentioned the YouTube videos a couple of times. Video marketing really works. It's great for attraction marketing. I would start blogging. Um, I would definitely post on social media. If I didn't have an online presence, I would create one. And, you know, again, just become a person that, that provides value and content to the community. I mean, that's a great way to, to get attraction marketing going, but you also have to get out and, and meet people. So that's what the, the networking groups and, you know, knocking on business owners' doors. Uh, business owners get this profession faster because a lot of the skills that they've had to develop to become a business owner, you know, help them uh, 
you know, move through the ranks. They just get it faster. Not that employees can't get it faster, too. I was an employee for many, many years. So uh, the other thing I would do is I would definitely spend, you know, 20 to 30 minutes a day connecting with people on Facebook. It's, it's, you know, like I said, we can never again say we've run out of people. When somebody comes to me and says, I've talked to everybody I know, I'm like, are you on Facebook? (laughs) Kathleen, as we wrap up, do you have any last words or advice? And then what's the best way our listeners can connect with you? Uh, The best way for listeners to connect with me is probably a a Facebook message. Um, You can go to my blog site. You can can sign up for my uh, email list there. You know, like I said, my Kathleen TV YouTube channel, everybody's welcome to to use those. Um, Those are the three ways, probably the best ways for people to get a hold of me. And the the last advice I would give people is just just make sure that you give this enough time. You know, like I said, if people really understood this million-dollar opportunity that they they have in front of them, they would find the time. And and it's going to take sacrifice. It's going to take, you know, looking at what you're currently doing and saying, you know, what can I give up or what can I scale back? But if you give this even just, you know, five hours a week, but if you think the key is to do it consistently and to stay focused on the the activities that are going to make the cash register ring. Over time, you, you can just be absolutely amazed at what you, what you can create. MLM Nation, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and today you've been hanging out with Kathleen Degelman. So keep up the momentum and go to MLMNation.net and type in Kathleen at the search bar, and Kathleen's contact info or the nuggets of wisdom, the things that she shared, will pop right up. In order to be successful in network marketing, you must help others. So, Kathleen, thanks again for sharing your valuable time with MLM Nation today. Thank you so much, Simon. It was my pleasure. Great to be with you. Kathleen, MLM Nation is grateful to you. We appreciate you. And thanks for all you do, your trainings and everything. Thanks for having a positive impact on millions of distributors worldwide. Thanks again. You're very welcome. Have a great day, Simon. MLM Nation, that was an awesome show. Three big takeaways for you on how this business really works, okay? Um, couple of lessons that we learned from Kathleen. Number one is about consistency. So you're listening to this podcast. Obviously, you want to make it happen. You want to make money. You got to be consistent. You know, when I was building the business, I did the same thing. It doesn't matter what happens. It was a 553. Every day, I would talk to five new people, you know, Basically, invite five, whether they say yes or no, it doesn't matter, of five follow-ups and do three presentations a day. And it's kind of like what Eugene Hong or all the other leaders that have been on MLM Nation said. They would keep going, right? They wouldn't go to sleep until you do that. So it doesn't mean you have to work five hours a day or you can be just five hours a week, but you have to do it consistently because as long as you keep doing it, you'll get the results. And I really believe that in this world right now, where sometimes we get awards and like the recognition, and even in the media, it's like we're very results oriented. Like who won this, who got this, who got awards. But long term success is not about the results. So if you're not getting results, you're listening, it's okay. As long as you do the activity, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, sooner or later you get extraordinary results. And I love that quote by Kathleen. You definitely want to go to the show notes page. Again, go to mlnation.net, search for Kathleen, the quote that she put down there about consistent action, extraordinary results. I would like type that up or handwrite that and put it right in front of you every single day because that is what this business is about. And while you're there, just thank her. Connect her on Facebook. Check out her online presence. She has a very, very good online presence, not just on Facebook, but YouTube, her website. And it's about providing value, not being a commercial, just selling about your company or your products, right? Um, It's about providing value, providing value for people. And uh, value could be giving them information that could be helpful, making them laugh, making them feel good. The different ways to do that. But that's how you use social media. And the the last lesson is, you know, I teach this in my sponsoring workshop webinar. And by the way, you haven't registered, you haven't never checked it out, definitely check it out. Spons- sponsoringworkshop.com. Okay. Just go to sponsoringworkshop.com. And I talk about the three type of prospects. The S, the ones who are more successful. The O's, who are like the, your peers. And the W's, the people who are worse than you, who want to be like you. And the S's are the ones who are more successful and smarter than you. 
These are the ones you got to contact first. These are the ones that are going to explode your business. And Kathleen's the perfect example of that. Kathleen's the S. Someone was smart. She was successful in corporate America. She was successful being a real estate agent, being a real estate investor, right? And that's why she grow you. Imagine her sponsors that brought it in, how quickly their business grew. You know, one Kathleen does more than probably 10,000 distributors combined. So that's why you got to contact them. And if you're not sure how to, by the way, you know, don't waste your time. She also shares something else. Don't wait, spend your time with people that deserve your time, not need your time. And you want to spend your time with good prospects like Kathleen. And if you're not sure how to contact them, definitely go to my sponsoring workshop uh, webinar. I teach that, sponsoringworkshop.com. All right? But it's an awesome show. Um, it's just the fact that there's so many successful people. Like Kathleen was working in corporate. I mean, I don't know her age. Uh, she looks very young, but she's been working in corporate for 25 years. The real estate did all that stuff and was never really exposed to network marketing. And when it was it was the right time for her, she jumped in immediately with no hesitation. And there's tons of people. I just find it so inspiring. There's tons of people like that, right? So people who are negative, oh, is this business like MLM? I don't like MLM or how is this different pyramid? Give me all these hard time. Forget them. Because there's other people like Kathleen's out there, right? The Kathleen could be walking right in front of you and you don't even notice it. You don't even think about talking to her because you're worried about what your negative brother-in-law is talking about, right? The, what she, they didn't show up for your meeting. So forget those prospects. Find the S prospects. If you, again, if you don't know how to talk to them, go to my sponsoring wor- uh, workshop, sponsoringworkshop.com. All right, so I love that episode. I just find it so inspiring just to talk to people who are successful like that, who are open. It's just inspiring. You know, such, and network marketing attracts such great people. So if you like that show, definitely let Kathleen know. Just study what she does. She is awesome. And if you like the show, go to iTunes. Make sure you subscribe, rate, and review. When you subscribe, it gets downloaded to your phone automatically. And the reviews help me as well. I get the show going and motivates me to keep the, doing these trainings for you. And the last thing is, um, if you found, you know, if you found MLM Nation helpful, share it. That's the best compliment you can do. Share it on social media. Share of your downlines, if your cross lines, if your uplines. That share of your prospects. You know, someone who's successful in corporate America but, but maybe frustrated. This is a perfect, perfect episode for them to listen to. Let them hear what Kathleen Degelman, how she changed her life thanks to this awesome profession. So that's it. Uh, I love that show. Make sure you contact Kathleen. And thank you, MLM Nation, for taking your time to listen to this. So make sure you apply what you learned. And I'll see you on the next episode. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining us today on MLM Nation. Head over to MLMNation.net for full recaps of every show, our training articles, and helpful resources. Your MLM success is waiting for you. So prepare to take off.